The children of notorious Australian terrorist Khalid Sharouf are now on their way home in the first organised return of children from a combat zone by our government. The eight youngsters were rescued from a Syrian refugee camp in a top secret operation, with our Prime Minister saying they should not be punished for the actions of their father. For more, we're joined by the Sydney Morning Herald's David Crow in Canberra and in Adelaide, Nine's Tom Wren. Good morning to you, David. To you first, the government, it's grappled with what to do with these children for many years now. The PM says this was a, a decision that was not taken lightly. Yeah, morning, Deb. It, it took a long time to get to this point, and I think the preparations obviously took months. Prime Minister was always very careful about how he worded his response on this. But I think it's a really... I think it's the right call. These are Australian kids. Uh, they should be looked after by Australians. I don't think there's any uh, illusion about how difficult it's going to be to reintegrate them into ordinary society after the horrific things that they've seen in Syria. The eldest of these eight children is 17 and she's pregnant. Uh, so they're going to need a lot of care when they come back here. I think they're going to also need some security supervision because this is a de-radicalisation program unlike anything we've, we've had to see in Australia because they've been exposed to so much brutality in Syria. But I think it was the right call to get them back here. And Tom, we understand that the children will be resettled in Melbourne. It's now up mm. to the state and the local community to, to try to bring that normality to their lives. How will that be achieved? That's the $64,000 question, isn't it? I mean, how do you reconcile what they have been through? Um, what is deemed as normal is going to be so different to what you and I are used to. And as David said, this is an extremely complex process now. I think the right decision, I agree, has been made. I think morally, ethically, um, as Australians, you try and do the right thing. And I think, you know, children shouldn't be paid to may, uh, pay for the mistakes of their parents. And so I think we have done the right thing. However... I think now, really, the task only is just beginning. Yeah, and we'll see where they go. It's understood that some of the children will also be under the care of their grandmother in Sydney, so uh, that will be unfolding.